Welcome back. Now we're going to illustrate a concept called percent relative humidity. The percent relative humidity is defined as the humidity in the air, which is the number of water vapor molecules per unit volume that the air is occupying, divided by the saturation point for that temperature. So what we learn in physics is that the, the hotter the temperature in the air, it can withstand, it can hold more air particles before you reach the saturation point. So the saturation point goes up. In other words, the saturation point is the number of water molecules that, that air can sustain before the water begins to condense from gaseous state back to liquid, right? The hotter the temperature, the saturation point is increasing, right? The amount that it can sustain. So it's a graph that looks something like this. The saturation versus the temperature, it goes up like this. Okay, so that means the hotter the temperature, the air can withstand more water particles before reaching its saturation, right? So you'd have to divide the humidity in the air divided by the saturation point for that temperature, okay? So then we have this device here, I can illustrate that to you, and then let's see what the humidity in the air is and how the uh, boiling water can affect that, right? Okay, so we've got a hot water right here, beaker of hot water, and then I could make it even hotter by putting it on the electric boiler. And then we have also, this is called the uh, percent relative humidity in the air, humidity indicator. So this is a old style uh, percent relative humidity indicator, but it is pretty accurate. So right now it is 60% relative humidity. So it's a hot day and it feels very humid. So that means we've reached 60% of saturation. If it rains and if it gets um, get more water particles in the air, then the percent relative humidity will increase. So now if I put this next to the bath of hot water right here and keep it there, what will happen? You can see what is happening slightly went up. It was 60, now it is 63, and it maybe eventually reaches 64. Why? Because even though this water is not boiling, it's still hot, the, the, the water particles are evaporating into the air. We don't really see that, but they are evaporating. If I put my hand over that, it does feel moist. And then you put your hand, you feel a little moisture when you feel it like that. So yeah, the water particles are evaporating. And this one, just by placing it over there, it's starting to go up. So right now it is uh, 65, 66%, and we started at 60. So it is definitely going up. The air around this uh, indicator is getting more humid, but it will probably stop going up because the, the air, I'm not heating the water, so it will just plateau. It looks like it's about 66 that it has plateaued, right? So now let's actually put the beaker of water and warm it up, All right? As I warm it up, the temperature will start rising, of course, and of course, more water uh, particles will evaporate. And then let's put this on here. Actually, this one actually rose. Right now, it was up to 68. So now, of course, it's gonna keep rising more and more. 69 see the water is not even close to boiling right now you can tell but you can see before even reaching boiling the water is beginning to evaporate more okay now we have reached 86 and i'm beginning to hear the initial stages of boiling happening you can hear the noise So you can hear that initial stage when the water is about to begin boiling and now the humidity, the percent humidity has really gone up. It is up to 87, 88 percent relative humidity. Condensation here, you can see here, and all of that is also going in here, so this is picking it up. Ninety one percent relative humidity. 
Now, if the air inside of the room was hotter, then the relative humidity would be actually be lower, right? Because the, uh, that means the, the, uh, the air would be able to hold more water vapor molecules before reaching 100% relative humidity. But since it's not that hot today, it's basically around uh, 75, 76 Fahrenheit in the room, it's not that hot, we're reaching the relative humidity quicker. Okay, now it's fluctuating between 92 and 93, whereas before it was going between 91 and 92. So it's 92 to 93 now. Okay, now I have finally reached boiling. You can see here that I have a thermometer placed in the water right here, right? And you've got the full water boiling. You can see 100.2 Celsius. And then you've got here the saturation percent sa relative humidity is fluctuating. It goes up to 91, 92, 93, 94, never quite reaches 100. Well, because what happens, a lot of the uh, water molecules evaporate to the air, a lot of them condense back to the glass, and uh, not all of it goes into here. So, so this is a pretty good demo to illustrate percent relative humidity. Thank you very much.